What's up Gizmo Slip, Darren Dyke here. We've got a really fun video to share with you guys today. A lot of modern consumer cameras have been adding all kinds of amazing cool features, like the ability to shoot in 4K and super awesome low light capabilities. But one of the coolest things in our opinion is the ability to shoot in higher frame rates. There are even phones that can do this. Like the iPhone 6S Plus can shoot at 240 frames per second in 720p, and the RX100 Mark IV can shoot at up to 240 frames in 1080p, and up to 960 frames at lower resolutions. Today we're gonna to be doing a comparison between these cameras and the Phantom Miro LC320S, which is one of the top high-speed slow motion cameras in the professional market. I think it's gonna be really interesting. We're gonna be using magnets, which look amazing when they collapse together to kind of show you the differences. Three, two, one. First, let's talk about the iPhone. The iPhone 6S Plus is capable of shooting at 240 frames per second at 720p resolution. It can do this continuously and with audio, which if you're familiar with high-speed shooting, that's actually kind of amazing. The RX100 Mark IV can only do this in the 120 frames per second, and the Phantom actually can't do that at all. You'll notice though that the footage looks really soft. And that's not just because it's at 720p resolution. If you're comparing the 720p on the RX100 versus the 720p on the iPhone 6S Plus, you're still going to see a significant difference, and a lot of this comes down to the sensor size. Both the Phantom and the RX100 Mark IV use a significantly larger sensor than what the iPhone does, so they can generally produce a little bit higher quality. Next, let's talk about the RX100 Mark IV. This camera is capable of shooting 240 frames per second in 1080p, 480 frames per second in 720p, and up to 960 frames per second in the 360p. That's absolutely insane considering this is a point and shoot camera that you can literally fit in your pocket, shooting at almost a thousand frames per second. As you can see in the 240 frames per second at the 1080p, it retains immaculate clarity and detail and color. At 480 frames per second, we go down to what's equivalent to a 720p resolution that they then upscale into a 1080p format. And at this frame rate, you're starting to see a real difference in how well you can see the motion of the magnets and water in the image. And here we are, 960 frames per second. You notice a significant softening of the image at this point. That's because now we're down to 360p resolution. We're less than standard definition. I definitely would not use this in a professional scenario, nor would I use it in a highly cinematic piece, but it's definitely a really fun feature to play around with. Seriously, if the main reason you want to use this camera is for sports or for science experiments or just to be able to kind of see how things move at that kind of a frame rate, this camera is definitely a really good option for that. One thing that's important to consider when you're shooting at 240 frames per second or above with the RX100 Mark IV is that you only have a two second buffer of recording. This doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually more than you think, and you'd be surprised how much awesome stuff you can capture in two seconds. Considering its size, its use, and its price point, Sony did an absolutely stand-up job with the creation of this camera. And last, let's talk about the Phantom Miro LC320S. Obviously, the Phantom cameras are in an entirely different league than the RX100 Mark IV or the iPhone 6S Plus. They can cost tens of thousands of dollars, even into hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on the models and features that you're getting on your Phantom camera. With that said, in the world of professional filmmaking, Vision Research, the company who makes Phantom cameras, are absolutely top dogs with their high-speed slow motion technologies. And that's with good reason. The image quality on Phantom cameras are absolutely amazing, and their interfaces are also really, really good. Now what's kind of interesting is that when you're comparing the 240 frames per second footage on the Phantom versus the RX100 Mark IV, they both actually look fairly similar in quality once they have been post-processed. Although the Phantom footage definitely has a lot better flexibility, and a lot of this comes down to the fact that you're shooting in a RAW format. So for color correction and color grading, the Phantom actually has a lot better flexibility than the RX100 Mark IV. And as you start to go up in frame rates to the 480 frames and the 960 frames, and then upwards to the 1500 frames per second, you're not losing any resolution. Plus you can make use of really high quality professional lenses. 
It captures the movement and interaction of the magnets and water absolutely beautifully. At the end of the day, each of these cameras are awesome for their own reasons. The RX100 Mark IV and consequently its sister camera, the RX10 Mark II, are in my opinion the best high speed slow motion cameras available in the consumer market without actually hopping into a fully professional camera. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, if you decide to use them as your primary phones, you're always going to have on you. So in a lot of those situations that you might normally have not been able to capture a situation in slow motion, you now will be able to. There's definitely an awesome level of convenience for this option. And of course, the Phantom cameras are essentially the sleek sports cars in the world of high-speed slow motion. I'll leave information on each of these cameras in the description down below. I'd like to give Videoblocks a big shout out for sponsoring this week's episode of Gizmo Slip. If you haven't heard of Videoblocks before, they are one of the most affordable stock footage websites on the internet. With a library of over 800,000 videos, motion graphic overlays, and After Effects templates, you can, for a one-time subscription fee per year, get access to unlimited downloads of that entire library. Plus, you get access to an exclusive marketplace where not only can you buy more awesome stock footage, but you can also sell your own and keep 100% of the royalties. There are links in the description down below if you want to check it out, and they are doing a 50% off promo right now, so it costs less than $50 for a full year subscription. It's a pretty awesome deal. Anyway guys, make sure to stay tuned here at Gizmo Slip because we got plenty of destructions, tech videos, and drop tests coming up in the very near future, and yes, we will be using the Phantom camera to shoot a bunch of it. If you want to check out a much more extensive video with these magnets over on my channel, I just made a really cool montage, and you can check it out by clicking on the annotation or in the links in the description down below. Anyway, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon.